Are you ready to join the future of coal mining? At Blackhawk Mining, we are a national leader in the production of metallurgical coal with a foundation built on a strong safety culture and an unmatched work ethic. We're not just co-workers, we're a family, and together we create an environment where everyone can thrive and make their mark. We invite you to join our team at Blackhawk Mining as we continue to build on our tradition while empowering the next generation of coal miners. Blackhawk Mining, shaping the future of coal production today. There are buttons to button, snacks to prepare, math problems to help with, and boo-boos to kiss. If you have people who need you, you need life insurance. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about a policy that protects the ones you love. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. This is where it all started. Right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. There are buttons to button, snacks to prepare, math problems to help with, and boo-boos to kiss. If you have people who need you, you need life insurance. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about a policy that protects the ones you love. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Big on commitment. Welcome everybody. We are live here at McGoffin County High School 
Coach Kevin Keithley to my right, trusty co-host of the grind session. We do not have producer Thomas with us. I'll be pulling the strings tonight, Coach. But we have a special young man here. Uh, we have a young man that played multiple rows on this team this year. Come up with clutch play after clutch play. Noah Salmon's with us, Coach. Listen, Noah Salmon's right, McGoffin County High School. Yeah, is this the send-off special? Is this what we call it, Daryl McCoy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yep. send -off tip off. Special. Oh, you want to call it the tip, tip off? Tip off show, okay, yeah. Okay, we'll call it the tip off show. Yep. Heading down, get ready to head to Rupp Arena. We got Noah Salmons with us. Oh, my goodness. I, listen, I've been waiting for this day, right, Daryl McCoy? Uh, 100 years uh, to get this region title. You know, the entire city of Sayersville, the thriving metropolis of Sayersville, and the entire county will be at Rupp in a couple of days. Talk about how your uh, life has changed since uh, winning that region championship uh, a little less than a week ago. Yeah, I mean, it's so much different just seeing, you know, the whole town just, you know, being so excited about us going to state for the first time in forever. It's just so crazy and it's a blessing, honestly. Now, just what, seeing everybody. What did y'all do today? Have y'all been going around to the schools? Yeah, or? we went to all the elementary schools, to the middle school, and to the nursing home just so all the kids could see us. And it's been crazy. Yeah, the, uh, you know, uh, talk, talk about, you know, your community and the support that you've seen from your community since y'all won region. Oh, we have the best community in the region by far. I mean, the fans always show out no matter what game, no matter where it's at. Our fans are always there and supporting us, and it's just it's such a blessing to have a community like this. Well, Noah, listen, uh, calling the game, you've got we've got 3,000 strong tuning in to the D&D &D Sports Network, probably 4,000 in the stands. You can sense it, you can feel it. The time's ticking down three, two, one. I've seen several videos of the crowd absolutely going boncos. Talk about what was going through your mind as that time ticked down at the Expo Center. Oh, the emotion started running instantly. I mean, as soon as that buzzer sound, it's just, you can call yourself a region champ finally, you know? And this is something I know we could do the whole season. We always have had the talent and we are always, we're a good family. We like to play together and it's just happy to make our dreams become a reality. Well, talk about that. Uh, my, my son plays for Prestonsburg, right? Uh, down at the Zip Zone Classic, we're checking you guys out. And uh, I thought early in the year, maybe one of your biggest Achilles heels as a team was help on drives. And I was like, that might be an issue as the season goes along if there's an elite level driver. But where you guys got, and I was telling Coach Castle this, by the end of the year and postseason, you guys became as good as anybody of stopping great penetrators getting to the rim. Uh, where do you feel the evolution uh, defensively came? Is that one of the areas where you guys know, okay, we can stop really good uh, offensive weapons with help? Uh, yeah, that's just one thing that we can do. We can lock down on defense. So we know if one team has a strong threat, we can all you know focus on one and make other players beat us. Right. Yeah, you, you know, uh, you know. right now we know you got a uh, slew of teammates we got to get to, but uh, I want to ask, uh, I'm going to ask all you guys, you know, to you, what does it mean to be a McGoffin County Hornet? Oh, it's everything to me. I mean, being able to suit up with those boys sitting over there every day is such a blessing. I mean, they're like my family. I love them all. And I don't think there's anybody else I really want to battle with on the court every day than them sitting over there. Well, what grade are you in? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Nine, one of nine. Yeah, one right. of nine seniors. You know, uh, you guys growing growing up, you guys grew up together. Obviously, Aiden held back, yes. you know, uh, with the COVID year. But you guys grew up together. Uh, you know, I mean, in middle school, did y'all think it, you had the squad that could get the Rep Arena? Absolutely. I mean, since middle school, we've always been a talented team. I mean, we were one of the top talented teams in middle school. In middle school, we actually won a conference championship down at Powell County. Yeah. And, you know, that was the last time we cut, net, cut nets down. And to do it again, it's awesome, and it's just it's a blessing. Well, listen, one of my final questions for you, look, heading down to Rupp Arena, you get the 14th region, first draw, Perry County Central, the Commodores. What do you got to do to knock those guys off and keep moving along uh, for a state title? Oh, we got a lockdown on defense for sure. I mean, they have a lot of shooters, a lot of players that can play inside the paint too. So defense, I feel like, will be the main key into winning that basketball have game. Have you guys had a chance to watch any video, scout on them yet, or yeah, is that we, coming? we've been watching some film. Okay. We're getting yeah. ready. Well, well, we're going to take and let you get ready, Noah. If you don't care, uh, first we want to thank you for joining us, but can you send us Mr. Walker Russell over? Yes, sir, I got you. All right, thank you, Noah.
Darryl McCoy, Noah Sammons, right? Uh, listen, yeah. that young man right there, Coach, may be uh, a 15th region sixth man of the year, you know, as well as he played yeah. at the end. Played an unbelievable role. Darryl McCoy, we just we jumped right on here. Darryl, this is the tip-off show. That's it, tip-off show. We'll yeah. be right back with Walker Russell. If you're looking for a small-town pharmacy that will treat you like family from the second you walk in the door, come see us at Convenient Drug. Convenient Drug in Sagersville, Kentucky, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. We look forward to seeing you. And we are back here, Coach, live from McGoffin County High School, and we have a special group of Hornets just talked to Noah Salmons. But now we have Walker Russell, Coach. I know you've sung his praises all year. Man, oh, man, Walker Russell, Agent Zero, right? Oh, not a senior. No, you're one of the few, right? You're, ju yep. you're, you're just a sophomore. Am I correct on that? Yep. Just a sophomore. But he don't play like it, especially postseason play, ladies and gentlemen. You're talking about that motor. Those RPMs were revving really high during the uh, regional tournament. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, you, uh, your team's performance and your overall performance because you brought – you were really an X factor during that postseason play, effort, energy, running the floor, rebounds. Talk a little bit about uh, your team's performance and, and your overall performance. Well, we just knew that we had to go in there and we had to go for our strong suit, which was rebound the ball and push it out in transition. And, you know, my mindset before every game was just play hard and play smart. And, I mean, if anything else happens, you can't do nothing about it because you played hard. And uh, we knew before we came into Floyd Central that we had to push the tempo and uh, rebound. And then, obviously, in the first half, we didn't do that. And we came in at halftime, and, you know, coaches, like, followed the plan. And finally, the second half, we followed the plan. And then uh, J.C., we executed the plan perfectly from start to finish. And then against Martin County, we also did that. And uh, I'm just very pleased with my performance. You know, this is – probably one of the best postseasons I've ever had in my entire career and I couldn't thank anybody but God honestly he's gave me this opportunity to play a blessed sport and I'm, I'm thankful for that. Well you're exactly right your effort was only 10 the way you rebounded the way you defended uh, Coach Castle what did he say uh, to you personally Walker this is what we need from you for us to cut down nets this is what we need from you night in and night out. Uh, he told me before the, the championship game that you know, they're going to be on Aiden and that I needed to step up and score because he knew that Aiden would always have, you know, his usual 30 points. And he knew that the Whitaker boys would have his. And uh, he just told me that I need a rebound and I need to stick on the boards and I need to score. And I'm going to ask you before I turn it back over to Daryl, is that clock's ticking down three, two, one, and the fans are going absolutely uh, berserk at the Expo Center. What was going through your mind as jubilation exhilaration was taking place it was probably the best moment of my entire life i mean it was unbelievable everybody you know that's watched us whenever we was little fellers and to come up and win the 15th region and go and play on where the kentucky wildcats play the rough arena that's right yeah listen coach walker's been one of the best kept secrets you know we got on yeah. walker what your seventh grade year we uh yeah. started covering you a little bit and then into your eighth grade you started getting a lot of publicity uh come played in our all-star game and uh you know i i think everybody knew you was going to be a special player i don't think anybody thought right away that you would have the impact that you've had you know talk about in the region tournament you know how uh you know, i mean you went from being the man in middle school to being one of the man, uh, guys here at high school. You know, talk about how uh, it took an adjustment to get used to that road there. Well, I mean, what a lot of people don't know is from middle school to high school is a is a huge leap. You know, it's, it's a faster-paced game, and it just takes time to learn. And, uh, you know, throughout the course of, you know, middle school career and my high school career, I've, I've learned to, you know, relax, you know, relax myself and just figure out what I can do best in that situation. If I need a rebound and pass or if I need a rebound and drop to the goal or just catch and shoot. Um, it's all about just your mentality, really. You just got to trust your instincts. Yeah, the, you know, t talk about, you know, I mean, you, you had 
a uh, well I know three or four offensive rebounds that was open layups and it seemed like every time they would get a run going there you was with an offensive uh, rebound or a hustle play that come up huge you know just talk about your mindset and being ready for them moments yeah obviously um, I always try and rebound as much as I can because it helps everybody around me and I knew that they was getting lazy and they were just sticking their hands out and not really trying to find me and hit you know hit me and um, I just snuck around through and I got the rebound and obviously you know I put it up and then uh, they just didn't really catch on didn't box out right nope yeah, so the uh, and you made them pay right there, Coach. Hey, you know that that was one thing. I mean, you can tell. You know, now you played with a guy like Aiden. You played with you know a an elite guy. You, you know, knowing how you was brought up in middle school, and you know you was the elite guy on y'all's teams. In you know, have you learned a lot from Aiden? Do you think that he's helped you get prepared for your road next year? Aiden is definitely one of the best mentors I've ever had in my entire life. I mean. I mean, I'm, almost all my game is revolved around him, and you know, every time I'm having like a bad, you know, bad game, he's like, just keep your head up, Walter, keep your head up. Uh, fun fact: in the Floyd Central game, you know, uh, I went up for a layup or something, and I got fouled, and I missed a free throw, and Aiden said, "Keep your head up. You'll hit. That you'll be uh, shooting a big time free throw in late game." And later on, you know, it was a few, we was down by like a few points, whatever, it's like one point, and I hit two cl like good free throws, and he said, I told you. And uh, I mean, just without him, I mean, I would definitely not be where I am right now. It probably makes you play better knowing that your star, the senior, has that kind of confidence in you, right? Yeah, it, it definitely means a lot, because I mean, a, a lot of seniors don't really trust a little sophomore guard, I mean. Yeah. But yeah, I couldn't thank him enough for everything he's done for not only me, but just for McGoffin County. What's the what's the emotions like right now? Are you more nervous, more excited? Definitely more excited. I, ever since I was little, I've always wanted to play at Rupp Arena, and I finally get the chance to you know complete my dream, and hopefully we'll we'll pick up a W. Any last questions, Coach? Yeah. What's the uh, mindset going at Coach Castle? What are you guys going to have to do uh, to beat a, a really good Perry County Central team? Uh, what's not giving obviously not giving away game plan and specifics, but what do you got to go out and do to uh, move on and keep advancing throughout the week? Well, obviously, um, coach's nephew, he's a you know he's a strong, and we just gotta you know contain him because he can, he can score a lot. Uh, they have another guy Woods, uh, he can shoot the ball really decent, really good. And then they got uh, their big man, and he's also uh, really good. And we just got to go in, keep our heads up, not be, um, you know, be too cocky. We need to be humble, stay down, keep our heads up. And we just got to follow the game plan that Coach gives us. Well, here's my last question for you on the McGolfin County tip-off show before they head off to Rupp Arena. Uh, what would you tell the McGolfin County faithful, the fan base, uh, you're looking to them in the camera, and thousands are going to tune in before it's over with. What, 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 what's your message to them? Just thank you all for everything that you've gave in McGoffin County. Uh, you made a little boy from a little town, the, probably the most proudest he's ever been. And we'll definitely try and get you a win Wednesday, Friday, and definitely to Saturday. There you go, guys. Walker Russell. Walker, real quick before we let you go, Whitey Little says uh, – Great job, said you was the difference in the finals in the 15th region. Gina Roberts says, great job, Walker. And David from Breathitt County, and David Ritchie's cheering you on. So, uh, you know, you got a lot of people out there cheering you on. And we look forward to watching you on the Rep Arena. Go out and make us proud. <laughs> Thank you all so much. All right, can you uh, send Ethan up? Yep. All right, all right guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. McGoffin County tip-off show, Road to Rupp on the D&D Sports Network. Time out for great food. This season, everyone is stopping at Double Quick for their pregame and postgame snacks, drinks, sandwiches, and dinners. Come on in and grab a bucket of Double Quick chicken with all the sides, a real family meal for on-the-go eating. Then there's everyone's favorite, the famous Double Quick pizza rolls. Buy them one, two, or six at a time. We've got sandwiches galore, your favorite drinks, chips, and snacks, and so much more. Be sure and use your Double Quick rewards card, and good luck to all the teams from the team here at Double Quick.
We are back here at McGoffin County High School, the state tournament tip-off show here, brought to you courtesy of Brian Parker at Sagersville Funeral Home and Johnny B's Pizza. Guys, I uh, also want to thank Convenient Drug, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, and we got special guest, Ethan Sayers, coach. Uh, I don't know that anybody's stock has went up as much as his over the last three weeks. Oh, the- listen, unbelievable. <laughs> uh, the job that you've done defensively, especially the th- latter part of the year in the postseason play. You, uh, we talk a lot about who's that, what is it, we call it the Lathan Hall Award a recipient yep. who can flat out guard, who can flat out get it done on the offensive end. Uh, I think your name more than ever is mentioned in that because uh, I don't know that there was a better ball pressure, uh, guard your best man, guard an elite scorer than what you uh, than, than who you are and what you've done in postseason play. Uh, I've what, what four or five games you held three of the top scorers in the 15th region to 15 points below their average. Starting with Prestonsburg, you talk about Martin County, you talk about. Uh, 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 who else we got here, Daryl? Uh, held uh, uh, Luke Hill, uh, yeah. uh, Peyton Davis, Braxton so, Keithley. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Brass, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. He locked him down, bro. <laughs> he locked him down, brother. And that's what I was going to say. Uh, is that something that uh, you took ownership of as the year went along? That like, look, my role is going to be as listen. I'm going to be the best defender in the region. Braden Moore. Yeah, yeah Braden Moore. Moore. Yeah. yeah. You know, coming in to the season, we knew that we had to play defense to win. And, you know, I know we have definitely the best offensive player in the region with Aiden. And, you know, defense was a big question for us all season long. And, you know, I was just trying to motivate the guys. You know, they see me out there playing defense hard. That maybe that would push them. And, yeah. you know, in the region tournament, you know, we just we flipped that switch, you know, the final four games, and we really <laughs> turned it on on defense. You know, yeah. I think we – I don't know, Floyd Central, I think we held them under, what, 60? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. And then John Central, I'm not sure how much they scored. And then I think Martin County to what, 57? Yeah. Something. And that's just what we, you know, worked on a lot of the season. You know, Coach pushed us hard defense, like defense, you know, defense, defense. He put that in our mind a lot. You know, uh, it, talk about, you know, I mean, obviously, I, I thought coming off the bench, y'all have one of the better defense yeah. pizzas too, and Noah Salmons. Yeah. You know, talk about your row, uh, you know, uh, and – you know, how you kind of talked to him to stay ready when his number was yeah, called. You no, know, you know, I, I play hard on defense, so, you know, I get a lot of fouls most yep. of the time. And, you know, just for him, you know, he's he's long, he's athletic, and, you know, just, uh, just to pressure the ball. And if they beat you, you have enough speed and length to get beat them. And get, he had quite a few block shots that I've seen along the year. And, you know, just to really keep him ready, just on the bench, even though he comes off the bench, he was an important piece to us in that run. Oh, well, thank you. The, the good thing about you is you didn't have to guard Aiden Barnett, right? <laughs> that is, you know, I've guarded him a lot in practice, and it's hard to stop him, yeah. really hard to stop him. So, so you understand the struggle. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, that, that's what I was going to ask. At the beginning of the year, and I asked Noah Sammons this, beginning of the year we're at the zip zone, right? Mm-hmm. You started the year with Prestonsburg yeah. and, and uh, started your playoff run with Prestonsburg. Um, it felt like at times on dribble drives, on, on great drivers, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe sometimes gave up some stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe the help defense wasn't yeah. there. Was that the? And that was my when we talked on the ground session. I said McGoffin County's got all the pieces to get it done, but it just feels like at times maybe with elite level scores, yeah. they might give up a little bit on help. Was that something Coach Castle talked about throughout the year? Because oh. by the end of the year, like I said, you locked down three, four of the top five scores in the region. Oh yeah, you know, we after almost every loss, he just it was defense. You know, we were scoring enough points right. to win, and we just wasn't teams were just scoring more than us and that was just a big problem and you know we would come in here and practice and we would just we would work on it for two 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 and a half hours each day and that's just what he pushed he got it in our heads that if we want to win a region championship we have to play defense well we know Adam Barnett's averaging 29 points yeah. a game I think he's moved up to third in the state in scoring yeah. but what I like it looks like you've confidence wise yeah. you've grown offensively especially uh, I saw you me and me, Daryl, came up here and watched you guys against JC early in the year. It looks like you shooting the basketball when you catch it, yeah. you're ready to bury yeah. it. Is that something that's grew in the last three, four weeks, or uh, you've been there the whole year? It's just, it's you know, just standing out more now. You no, know, I mean, they've always trusted me, and you know, having the best scorer probably in the state, one of the best. You know, you want to get him the ball a lot. Yeah. You know, and but whenever he's driving and you know they're collapsing on him, you got to have people out there that can knock down shots. And you know, I feel like that's what me, Grayson, Noah, mostly all of us that can shoot. You know, 
Zane can even shoot, you know, the big man, and just yeah. all of us just can, you know, spread the floor out, and when they collapse on Aiden, he can kick out, and we can knock down shots. Yeah. Against Prestonsburg, what was it, seven or nine threes? Yeah, I think it was seven. Yeah, yeah seven threes. Seven, seven three <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, out of nowhere, yeah. you know, playing lots out, and I think, you know, a lot of people, everybody knew your defensive side, yeah. but, you know, I didn't think a, a lot of people gave you the respect that you deserved mm-hmm. on the offense until yeah. that performance. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just – and we knew what they was going to do. Just try to get somebody else and other than Aiden Barnett to beat you. And, you know – where did you guys yeah, do it, we, right? Yeah, you know, me and Walker <laughs> and even Zane, you know, they was just – and then even Central tried to do that. And we finally got – I think it was Sloan that was guarding me that got out of the paint in the region tournament. And, you know, we got Sloan out of the paint, and that just – that opened it up for Aiden so much in the region tournament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right now, Ethan, you got uh, – said uh, – Johnny Patrick says, love Walker uh, and Ethan, one of my favorites. Uh, we got William Gerald says, uh, you, you're a great kid. Said, uh, always been one of his favorites. Gina Francis says, you guys can do it. Uh, Michaela Bailey tuning in. Reva Conley says, uh, love our boys. Said, you guys are good speakers. Talk about uh, Coach Castle and what a mentor he has been. Oh. And why do y'all speak so well? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with him. Right. He's, you know, he's been here. I've been playing high school for five years now. Well, you know, I've sat on the bench my eighth grade year and my freshman, but, you know, he's he's one of the funniest guys you'll ever be around. Yeah. He truly is. But, you know, when it's time to get serious, he gets serious. And, you know, he's I, I've said this all along, he's a player's coach. You know, you can come and talk to him about anything you want and anything that's going on, you can come and talk to him. And he's truly the best. He really is. Yeah. Just amazing. Yeah, you know, moving on to this uh, week coming up, you know, uh, you got Perry Central. You know, I mean, uh, I think both of y'all, Perry and McGoffin, think that y'all got a good draw. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, one one of y'all will make it through to the weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, talk about uh, Perry Central and how y'all prepared for them. You know, we uh, we played them earlier in the year. They beat us oh, five, okay. I think it was five or six or something like that. But we had them down most of the game. You know, I think that was a stretch in the season where we was turning the ball over a lot. We wasn't taking care of it, and you know, we'll be the first to say that. But, you know, we've – and we wasn't playing good defense. I and mean, now we know how good of a defense we can play. So, we're really going to lock down, you know, the first round. And you couldn't really ask for a better draw for a, two mountain teams to be playing in the first round, you know. And it's just, you know, we watch film on them. And we're – just counting down the days now. I was going to say, this doesn't happen very often. Look on the back. I mean, Daryl McCoy talks about every time we come in here, nine – seniors yep. right so it, yep. uh, in this day and age with the transfer portal <laughs> and guys going here and there you got nine guys yep. nine brothers that you went to war with for so long uh what does it mean 100 years yep. to get this first region title and you did it with nine seniors that you guys have played together for a long long time it's it's truly unreal you know i've played with all these guys my whole life and we've dreamed about this moment for since we was in kindergarten really you know, and just to be able to for our dreams to come true, you know, and we've worked together for so long. We put in so many hours in the gym whenever we didn't have practice or anything. We'd come in here in the morning before school and we'd just get shots up just continuously. And just we've always worked so hard and just to, for it couldn't happen to a better group of guys. Yeah. Really could. Yeah, uh, my last question for you, what do you, what do you think the feelings are going to be like when you walk out of that hallway, the hollow depths of Rep Arena, and you walk on that floor. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be unreal. But you know, once you step on the court, you know you have a few minutes to soak it in. Then you got to really lock in, and you got to play the game. You know, the game comes next, and we want to win. We ain't just going down there to, you know, mess around. We're going down there to win, and that's the most important thing. Well, Ethan, we can't thank you uh, enough uh, for all the great moments you've gave us here covering you. Uh, you've been a really uh, joy to watch this year. Thank you. And uh, we hope you guys go down and you make Hornetville proud because, you. Uh, you know, w- what you're doing right now is something that's very hard to accomplish. And, you know, you'll have that lasting memory forever. Right. So, uh, if, can you send this uh, uh, Zane Whitaker? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, guys, Sayersville Funeral Home. want to thank Brian Parker. want to thank Johnny B's Pizza. Uh, convenient Drug, Corey Conley. want to thank uh, Zach Sloan at Sloan Chiropractic as well as Conley Brothers Giovanni's and Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau for sponsoring the McGolfin County Tip-Off Show. Uh, Road to Rup, Coach. I like it. Now, Coach Kevin Keithley, 
Daryl McCoy here, and we got the big man down low. And, Coach, uh, you may have to raise the camera up for this one yeah. here. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Zane Whitaker in the house, Coach. Hey, listen, Zane Whitaker, Mr. Versatility. It's not just about down low. You can do a little bit of everything. We're talking about jumpers at the elbow. We're talking about blocking shots, running the floor, setting screens. Um, I've been very impressed with your play this year more than ever. Um, during the offseason, uh, what kind of work did you put in? Because it just seems like – your game did evolve, uh, mm -hmm. and it evolved at a, a high rate. Talk a little bit about what you did during the offseason to have, be prepared uh, to help your team make this run. Well, you know, a lot of coming in, getting shots up, just, you know, I knew what my role was going to be coming in this year. So just working on what, working on my strengths, working on my weaknesses. A lot of days, a lot of nights coming in uh, before the season started and trying to make sure I was ready for this season. Right. Well, Daryl, he's a guy that, uh, you listen, you, we talk about it, and of course, Adam uh, Barnett gets all, you know all the love, averaging 29 a game. But you're somebody that can make no mistake about it, can drop 20, 25 every single night. And there's times that you go on a roll by yourself. We watched that, I believe, uh, earlier in the year. Me and you called a game, and you might have hit the first eight to ten points. Uh, what 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 do you look at your role on the team as? Is it just that Mr. Versatility man? What does Coach Castle say? Look, we need you to do. Uh, really, I just do a little bit of everything, yeah. right? So, come in, set screens, try and work off the ball, work on the ball, get our guys open. A lot of times, you know, I'll post up, I'll get double teamed. Mm -hmm. My job to find our other guys, get them, get them their shots. And if we're struggling offensively, you know, I'll step up, I'll take some shots, I'll do what I can to score. But it should, it, it's that versatility. It's trying to do everything that I can to help us win. Yeah, you wear a lot of different hats, Daryl. And the one thing I think you've really improved, well, not necessarily improved on, but the team has, is early in the year, and I've talked about it a couple times uh, with the other guys, is early in the year, drivers seem to get their way to the rim. Uh, elite, elite players, like a Luke Kell. Yeah. Um, it seems now when that it gets funneled to you, oh, yeah, you better watch out because he may be sending that back into the third row, right, Daryl? He did many times yeah. at Region. You know, talk about you picking up your road defensively as the season went on. Uh, well, blocking shots always been my role. Biggest guy on the team is kind yeah. of expected of me. So it's always been my role. I've always been there down low trying to contest shots, trying to affect them, trying to make them shoot something that they're not comfortable shooting. And especially during the regional tournament, just felt like I had my legs under me, felt like they were just coming my way, and I was just able to get all those blocks and help us lead us to the victory. Yeah, you know, Zane, you've uh, a special uh, season this year that you had here, and uh, obviously y'all ended up, you know, here with a chance to go to Rupp. And, you know, um, what, what's, your, uh, what's it been like since you won uh, the region, you know, as far as the community support, and uh, how's the feeling been over the last week? Well, I, it's felt great. It felt amazing. Something that I've wanted to do since I was little. Uh, the community support has also been amazing. I've heard a lot of people have donated. Yeah. A lot of people have offered us, like, free meals come yeah. in. They've offered to send us stuff. It's been really amazing. Uh, we recently visited our grade schools. They were amazing. They cheered for us. They were yeah. real happy to see us. Uh, we got to go down to our nursing home. Got to oh, see okay. some of the folks there. Really nice. It was really nice to talk to all of them. Uh, so, you know, the community out uh, outreach is great. They're just absolutely amazing. We have the absolute best fan base, I believe. And I they just always – they've always been there for us. They uh, always have our backs. You know, I, I don't think I ever realized till this year – how good the McGough County fan base was. Y'all's pep section was crazy, <laughs> night in, night out. I know. They they love to show up. They love to do the things. Yep. They love to get rowdy. Yeah, the, uh, you know, uh, playing a, uh, alongside a big-time player like uh, Aiden, you know, uh, how much confidence does that give you knowing every time you go on the floor that you got the best player on the floor on your side? I, it's it's pretty nice. It's pretty <laughs> nice. You know, it takes a lot of the pressure off of me because I just got to go in. I got to play my role. Usually it's to support him and the rest of my teammates, but sometimes I got to step up too. But it's nice to be able to just know that he's on the floor with me, know that he's going to get his points, get his shots, get his rebounds, create for everybody else, and that I just got to do what I got to do so that we can win. Now, not putting words in Perry Central's mouth, but, you know, Perry Central, they got a couple big physical forwards, you know, 
you know they're probably thinking like we're gonna go in there and we're going we're going to toss Zane around. You know Zane ain't ready for his physicality. You know talk about Perry Central and how you're trying to prepare for them, uh, knowing that you know I mean they're they're a little different with their physicality. No, they definitely are because uh, we played them first second game the, this year. I'm not really sure, so I I got a taste of that physicality. You know Carter Castle he got into foul trouble real early. I didn't see okay. much of him until late. I really tasted it late, and they started yeah. getting on their run. So something that we're definitely going to have to address, something I'm ready to take on, I believe, personally. Yeah. I think I'm going to be able to handle that physicality and be able to hopefully lead us to the victory and get our win. Well, I tell you, Zane, you you know, the, the thing is you, you've got the rep arena right now. You know, I, I'm excited to see where basketball takes you. You know, I mean, I, listen, right now we know the go at hand is a state title. Yeah. You know, but I'm very excited to see how your future uh, ends up and, you know, how your career blossoms because, you know, right now there's as much attention on you as they've ever been. And, Coach, uh, you know, as you know, once you get to Rupp Arena, you know, you're going to have every college coach in the world there watching you. So, yeah. you know, I mean, it, it's a big stage and a big opportunity for you and your teammates. You know, it's especially y'all go down there and get a win, then uh, I, I guarantee you you're going to have to turn your phone off sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, Coach, well, any last words? No, listen, all right, you're heading down to uh, – getting ready to head down to Lexington, Rupp Arena. Uh, what's the message to uh, your fan base and uh, the people that supported you for the last – well, since you've been in uh, kindergarten, uh, balling out, and yeah. what's your message to, to the fans here in McGoffin County? Uh, just thank you for always coming out and supporting us. You know, fans have been great every single year of high school, middle school, grade school. I mean, I've seen it all throughout my life. Y'all always show up. Y'all always supporting us. Y'all are always cheering. Whether we're winning, losing, it don't matter. Backs against the wall. I know our fans got our backs, our community's got our backs. I know they're going to be with us and that we're going to they're going to cheer for us throughout whatever we go through in this uh, run to rep. I love it. They ain't got a lot of comments coming in. Michael Rose says is uh no we will not be streaming live. They do not allow it. Prep spin will have that. Uh we see uh Said good luck uh, to McGoffin uh, County. Angela Skagg says go Hornets. Shannon Van Hoo says go Hornets. Amanda Whitaker says go Zane and the Hornets. Uh, Jerrica Patrick says uh, they love Zane and the Hornets. So, I mean, you got a million people tuning in here. Uh, you know, you can go back and look at that later. But, Zane, we look forward to seeing you down there. We've talked to Coach Castle. Uh, hopefully, if y'all get that dub, we can catch up with you down at the hotel or something. And, mm -hmm. uh, maybe have uh, a little dinner uh, with you guys at yeah. KS Bar. So uh, go down, make us proud here in the mountains, and, uh, you know, soak this moment in. I hope you have fun. Oh, thank All you. All right, Zane. Can you send Grayson up? Sure. Yeah. All right. Guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here. The state tournament tip-off show with Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, live from McGoffin County High School. Craving a taste of Central America? Head to Sal's Steakhouse. Sizzle your senses with mouthwatering steaks, juicy burgers, savory chicken, and fall off the bone ribs. Sal's Steakhouse, where your taste buds will thank you. Unleash the flavor at Sal's. Taste tradition, taste the difference. Back here at McGoffin County High School, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy here at the McGoffin County State Tournament tip off show. Thanks to Sagersville Funeral Home, Johnny B's Pizza, and Convenient Drug, we are here with Grayson Whitaker, Coach. This is the sniper. This is the long ball hitter. You know, uh, it, for many years, you've got to cover this young man, and you've sung his praises. Well, listen, before we jump with Grayson Whitaker, you got two uh, former McGoffin County uh, legends or celebrities tuning in, Daryl, and one of them is Anthony Wireman from All KY Hoops yes. from McGoffin County. Prayers to his wife and his newborn child. I know there were some co complications there, but he's been tuning in every step of the way, cheering on his uh, alumni, McGoffin County, and Jim Caldwell, uh, meteorologist of WKYT, uh, tune in. You know those two are going to be at Rupp Arena if they're able to cheer on uh, uh, these McGoffin County Hornets. Talk a little bit about speaking of that, you have a lot of alumni. Mm -hmm. You're talking about 100 years. You got 80 year olds that hadn't seen it happen and, and for it to finally become reality. Uh, and it was unbelievable. I've seen some of the, I was there 
right? So I saw it in person, gave me goosebumps, but I went back and watched some of the videos. It was even more insane. Talk about that moment as the time ticked down, and it's like, wait a minute, this is reality. We got this done. Yeah, uh, it was great for us, of course, because we worked so hard, but the seeing the joy that it gave the fans and all the people that support us, it just nothing beats that. Right. So I'm just I'm happy for them. I'm happy for the county, really. It feels good. Yeah. And, you know, Grayson, your uh, your role, as I said, you know, as a youngster, you know, I mean, you was known as just that uh, kid in the corner that knocked down threes where well, you really had to develop into a bigger role as, you know, your careers went on. You know, talk about this role, how you've had to step up and really develop other areas of your game to get to this moment. Yeah, before this year, I didn't play much defense at all. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't rebound much. But this year, I really wanted to expand my game, you know, be a more of a threat than just standing in the corner. So uh, I've tried to rebound more, help to the team, play better defense. Coach, yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes a strong kid to be able to admit that. Well, no, you're exactly right, and that's where that senior-laden nine seniors mature group comes from. Every time each one we spoke to, they gave an honest answer. And, and I, again, I've asked each – uh, player this uh, beginning of the year it, ju it seemed like maybe if there was an Achilles heel to McGoffin County it was help the helper stopping those elite drivers yeah. and from the zip zone until that game against Prestonsburg or a little started a little bit before then mm -hmm. but the way you guys guarded and helped on offensive weapons of the other team is just tremendous as good as anybody in the 15th region uh, is that something was the focal point uh, for collectively and as, as an individual hey we're going to just we're going to be better defensively. Yeah. Um, most of our losses, we, we put up a lot of points. We're just like Kentucky. We, we put up a lot of points, but we don't play defense. <laughs> we didn't play defense, and after every loss, the practices were awful. <laughs> they were terrible. And we finally just decided to lock down, and it, it helped us a lot. Uh, that, that was, you know, what was the coming of age moment, you know, when, when y'all realized, you know, like, okay, we can be very good or we can be great? Uh do you remember when a flip was switched or was there a certain moment in the season? I would think the first game of the regional tournament, we was down nine at halftime, and we just decided to turn it on. We ain't looked back since. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. You know, I mean, Martin County beat y'all, what, three times in the regular season? Yeah. And then fourth time was the charm. Y'all took care of business. You know, mm -hmm. what was different in that final game, uh, and what did you personally see that y'all was able to take advantage of? Well, we took it personally. We They made T-shirts, the three P district T-shirts. Oh, okay. they, they already had it printed out, and we just took that to heart. And we had nothing to lose because they've already beat us three yeah. times. So we just gave it everything we had. Well, well, you were up. Listen, I go back again how you've <coughs> held dynamic scores uh, uh, below their averages. Uh, you're up 23 on Johnson Central. Mm -hmm. and, 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 again, that second half, I know the score was closer than what it was, but it, you, you guys might have took your foot off the gas a little bit tough when you're up 23 at half. Yeah. But, again, I think you held uh, Sloan to two for 14 to start the game. Mm -hmm. uh, so, again, it was every step of that region tournament, and a big part goes to you and, and Sayers uh, on how you guys guarded ball pressure. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you said, okay, I'm going to take it upon myself to become a better defender. Now, all of a sudden, it was almost like clockwork, Daryl. We're calling the game, and we're mentioning him. Offense, defense, yeah. defense, offense. Mm -hmm. You were a big part of that overall uh, uh, win. Mm -hmm. And uh, talk a little bit about uh, – uh, how you feel that as a group you guys have came together. Nine seniors, but it seems like everybody understands their role. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's not a lot of uh, – a lot of teams, a lot of times when you got a guy dropping 20-plus, mm -hmm. there can be some uh, little backdoor th yeah. guys, a little jealous Daryl McCoy, yeah. but it seems like everybody understands their role and says, you know what, I'm going to excel at it. Mm -hmm. Well, Aiden's role is to get 30 points a game. Yeah. Yeah. He dominates the offensive end. And me, Ethan, and Zane, we, we kind of dominate on defense. But Walker and Zane really crash the boards a lot. Yeah. So that's just our personal role. So Aiden gets his points when we play defense. Yeah. Kind of balances out. It does. Yeah. The, uh, you know, we see Ben Lafferty, uh, say a special group of guys, and some of the uh, best friends say good luck down the rup. Uh, we see Lynn King uh, cheering on the Hornets. Uh, and then Margaret Arnett says uh, she's watching and uh, – cheering you on and said uh, Rosemary Arnett says they are proud of each member and uh, then we got Gina Carroll says uh, his, uh, her dad Joe was 88 years old followed the Hornets many years said uh, 
and uh, played with Sayersville High School in the 50s. Said, you guys have made that old man's life. <laughs> so uh, as you're sitting here, finally accomplished uh, this dream, getting to Rupp Arena. What's what's the feelings going to be like when you step out on that floor? And just walking out of the tunnel and just seeing all the banners and yeah. all the jerseys, it's just going to be a, a great feeling. I've never been to a U.K. game, so I don't know what it looks like in there. Yeah. So it's just going to be – I get the chills just thinking about it. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. So it's even more special for him, Coach, because he's never been to a U.K. Mm-hmm. game. So, he, he, well, I'll give you a little taste. You'll be down in the hallways. Mm-hmm. You'll be where, you know, Tony Dell, Jamal Mashburn, Anthony Davis – you'll be walking that same walk that they walked yeah. and they normally let you go in and look at the locker room and stuff like that there mm-hmm. too so you know uh, one thing you know and, and it's it's easy sometimes some teams forget it but you know uh, soak it in have fun you know but also you want to make it to the weekend yeah you know so uh, you know talk about Perry Central and how y'all's preparing for them uh, we we played them early in the season and we was leading a good amount of the game and we was I don't know. We, we kind of gave up the lead late. Um, didn't really lock down on defense, took dumb shots. But um, I feel like from that game to now, we've grown a lot on offense and defense. So, mm-hmm. Thank you all got what it takes to get redemption on that one. I think we do. There you go. The uh, Well, Grayson, I tell you, uh, you've been one of my favorites from uh, for the last four years. You know, I've always you. uh, sung your praises. You know, you – I uh, really always respected your shooting ability. You know, when uh, you had McGoffin County in the uh, uh, early ages, you know, I mean, it, it takes, you know, Aiden's got to have a, uh, every Batman's got to have a Robin, yeah. you know, and, you know, uh, I, I think that, you know, you, you stay ready. I think you could have some big time moments down at Rupp, mm-hmm. and uh, we're going to be cheering you on, and uh, hopefully you can bring that hardware back to Sagersville. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Grayson. Thank you. Can you send Aiden over? Yep. That's Grayson Whitaker here on McCoy. Yeah, Grayson Whitaker, Coach A Sniper. I wonder how many threes he has in his career. Unbelievable. You know it's approaching 200, right? Yeah, guarantee yeah. it. You know, he, uh, but as you're sitting here, guys, you're watching the state tournament tip off show thanks to Brian Parker at Sagersville Funeral Home, Johnny B's Pizza, Corey Conley at Convenient Drug. Guys, Kevin Keithley. We also want to thank Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau. And, Coach, uh, we got. Mr. Aiden Barnett. We got royalty in the house. We got 15th region player of the year, Kevin Keithley. Unbelievable. Aiden Barnett, you just flew back in. I flew back in when you were private leader, right? No, you just came back <laughs> from a uh, the Mr. and Mrs. Basketball uh, uh, award ceremony. How was that? It was great, you know. Being around very good basketball talent, just even better people being there. Me and Trinity, you know. Yeah. yeah. Me and Trinity are pretty close. Seeing her win it. I was very proud. Yeah, listen, averaging 29 a game on the year. I think you're third in the state now in scoring. Uh, putting on one of the best um, 15th region seasons that I can remember an individual putting on, and he kept it off with a region championship, the first region championship. And let me just say it again, the first in 100 years, ladies and gentlemen. What, what does it feel? Because, again, the accolades are great, right? Uh, they know what you can do. Everybody, And, listen, this guy should have been right at the top. I don't know how the voting went on the Mr. Basketball. Obviously, Travis Perry won that award last night. But you should have been, no doubt about it, top three or four in that voting. Uh, but talk about what it means getting that region title on top of the senior year that you've had. It means the world. I've had a great season. You know, I've, I'm actually healthy this year. I've not been healthy, in, you know, since my freshman year. Ham, hamstring problems. I had shoulder surgery. Yep. I've not really had an off season to get better because every off season I use, you know, to get healthy. Yeah. So getting that off season, getting on, and with Corey, being able to uh, get stronger, faster, just better control. Last year I had a, two charges a game. Probably this year, I probably had five all season. Yeah. Just being able to control my body so much more. And it just paid off in the end. Yeah, it has. Yeah, you know, t- uh, he's talking about Corey Hayes at Hayes Training System. Aiden, you started this summer there with him. You know, uh, you know, talk about, you know, I mean, uh, and I always tell people, like, hey, you're a kid, if, if you wanted to focus in, you could play Division One football or you could have played Division One basketball, you know. And seems like since the beginning of the season, you really 
honed in and tried developing the weaker areas of your game, and that's why we're seeing such a special talent that we're seeing right now. Talk about your growth at the beginning of the year and what you knew you had to work on to get this team to this situation. You know, I knew there was going to be scenarios where, you know, everybody was going to be focused on me, you know, guarding uh, me with two, sometimes three people, yeah. crowding the paint because, you know, they're just going to make somebody else beat them. And I just had to – the biggest part of my game that I had to get better was my trust in my teammates, you know. I've always trusted them, but, like, when it comes to big game scenarios, I'm a competitor. You wanted the ball. Above, above all, I'm trying to win. That's yeah. why I, this region championship has been my goal forever. And when it comes – do it. I'm confident with the ball in my hands. Two people guard me, three people, it don't matter. I feel like I'm going to make the shot nine out of ten times. But being able to trust them, you see when we played Prestonsburg, mm-hmm. they, y'all wasn't guarding Ethan. Yeah, I told him standing wherever he wanted, I'd get the ball, I'd attract him, and I'd hit him when he was wide open, and he hit the shots. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if we're hitting shots, we're one of the best teams in the state, honestly. It, it seems like to me, more than ever watching you compete also, that the game slowed down for you mentally. Not you've always played under control and you've always done a great job seeing the floor, but it just seems like it. You don't get rushed, brother. It, it's just, it's almost like a James Harden scenario uh, where it, it, you're going at your pace. Nobody's going to speed you up. You're going to go at the pace you want to go at. Yeah, um, as you all know, if you all watch the NBA, European basketball yeah. is you know taking over the NBA. The best NBA players right now are Luca. Jokic, European, yep. right, yep. and they can they play at their own pace. Luca's not fast, not athletic, and he just he plays at his own pace, and he knows what's going to happen before he, before it happens. And I feel like I I'm one of the smartest basketball players. I, that's something yeah. I've always took pride in, because if you know what the defense is going to do and you react, you get wide open teammates, wide open layups. It it just makes everything so much easier. Right. Yes. Yeah, so you know, uh, eight and seven years seven years that you played high school basketball and you, but you'd never been to the expo when you got there you made the best of it you know t- talk about you know was it more special knowing that you've waited that all that long to get there and then you ended up capitalizing on it or uh, w- do you think it made it a little bit more special than if you would have been there every year i knew all i had to do was get there when, yeah. when the lights are bright i'm I'm ready. That's my favorite. But, you know, we've always had the toughest district in the region. Yeah. Ever, ever since I've been here, we've had Trey James, Kobe Fugit, Brady Dingus. Uh, I was a year after Mason Blair, Isaiah May. Yeah. And he's coaching now. Yeah. Playing against him. I played against him three years. Gabe Farrell, Jacob Bryce. I yeah. went against all of them. So, you know, the, the district's always been stacked top to bottom. And I knew all we had to do was make it out of the district. And with the Super Region, I knew um, – once we lost the district championship, we had to play an extra game. Yeah. But I, I was like, you know, if we handle business that first game, once we get on the bigger four, the like four opens up so much more, and I just get a lot more area to work, and it's just I love it. Had to be a little nervous knowing that every other year, you know, the loser of the district got put in region. Well, now all of a sudden you got to win another game. You know, it, it, it was probably uh, – was the nerves on a high whenever you seen that, or was you like – Okay, we just got to go take care of business against Prestonsburg. It's always business. I'm never nervous. Like going in there against Martin County, I knew we had to we had to limit Luke. We had I was I, I had the game plan on Sturge. I was going to force him left all game. Once he gets going right, you can't stop him. So I just made him go left the whole game. And once I I just focus and we zone in and we just handle business. You know, I tell them all the time we're always underdogs. Yeah. But before the season, we were underdogs. Like I said, sir, you're top two, not two. I've always had confidence in this team. I tell them every game, we got nothing to lose. I said, we've made history. Why not go make more history? Nobody's Coach. ever even made it to say, so we might as well win a game. Uh, th- well, that's what I was going to tell you. You know, uh, over 100 years, never has anybody made it to state from McGoffin County. After knowing what the tornado did, tore the city apart, you know, and then you see all these people on here tuning in right now saying that, you know, they played back in the 50s and 60s. They dreamed of this moment. Uh, we see uh, uh, D.D. Carpenter says, um, McGoffin grad from 1979 said, uh, we're cheering you boys on, knowing that, you know, what this city has been through. And for you to give them this moment, what's that mean? It means the world, you know. When that tornado came through, my house actually got oh, wow. got hit by it. I lived in the middle of town beside um. Right across from Brian Parker's funeral home, yeah. actually, in that little trailer. 
my house got hit, so um, we was living with my mama, you know, for months after working on the house, and then you know, all the bus wreck, obviously. Yeah. It, yeah. We've been through a lot, and um, the script was crazy this year. I guess yeah, hundred years. You couldn't you know? draw it up, could nah, you? I mean, hundred years. You know, all the records I broke, just putting on for the county, and you see the support they show. Yeah. It means the world. Yeah, the uh, well, yeah, you know, and and one thing now, uh, I I want to ask. I know you're a kid that puts chips on your shoulder. You use everything for motivation. You know, I mean, many times this year we wouldn't have y'all in the top ten, or we wouldn't have y'all uh, ranked, you know, as high as what thought you should be. And every time I seen you, you, you know, you, you would bring it up. You know, the, the the I really love. I think great players always use stuff like that to motivate them. You know, the uh, now we're hearing uh, this thing that uh, you might be 40 years old. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, it ain't no fun when the rabbits got the gun. <laughs> there That's you what go. I'm saying. Yeah, the, uh, so, uh, you, you know, I, I think people don't realize the uh, – and they're not used to somebody being as great as you've been this year. And seeing you dominate, you know, two different sports. Like, I mean, you dominated football just like you did basketball. You know, you're always the best player on the field. You know, knowing that, you know, hearing all that chatter, you know, people uh, saying, you know, well, you know, he's, you know, 20 years old. He's, you know, 25 years old. You know, uh, uh, how, how do you turn that into motivation instead of tearing you down? The way I look at it is if, you know, people were talking down you and you're doing something That's right. right. That's it. I just, I mean, nobody said a word whenever we lost the district championship to Martin County. Nobody brought up my age then. We beat them. Everybody has something to say. I, I enjoy it. I, I just love it. I think everybody in the state's seen his birth certificate by yeah, now, Coach. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's the thing. I, I tell my teams and my kids, if you're not doing something right and, and they're not hating on you, then you must be average below. Yeah. But if you're, if you're chasing greatness like this young man has done all year long, then you better believe the haters are going to come out of the woodwork and get a little louder, especially – when he makes it to Rupp Arena. So it's all part of the process and the deal, uh, the things that you've accomplished. That just comes with the territory. Well, LeBron gets it every single day. Um, Luca gets it. Yep. Heck, yeah. uh, it's just part of the process if you're a great player. It seems like Aiden soaks it in and you kind of try to take the heat off your teammates too. Yeah, I mean, whenever you're, you know, the guy, I'll, I'll take all the criticism, you know. They're, they're my teammates. If I got something to say to them, I'll say it to them. They know that. I'm, I'm here to – for the benefit of them, Walker is yeah. basically my son. Oh, okay. uh, I, I've Walker, I've – me and Walker's came in the gym, you know, by ourselves many a times. Yeah. And whenever um, we play, he knows his job. If I need him to go get a bucket, he'll, you know, shoot the wall. But if I need him to rebound, get offensive rebound, second chance points, that's that's where Walker's money is, second chance points. He's one of the best offensive rebounders in the state. Now, you know you're going to have people out there clip that and say, I told you that he had a kid in high school. That's fine. They, yeah. they, they'll be hating on him, too, in two years. Yeah, the, uh, nah, he, he's a special kid. You know, that's what I told him. I said, you know, uh, he's got to be, uh, you know, really soaking in playing with you because, you know, he has a chance to be you, to be the man, that elite player in a couple of years. How special is that kid? Yeah, he's – I've, I've told him forever, you know, if he keeps his head on, he gets down on himself way too much. I understand, you know, he's the youngest on the team, so he feels like when he messes up, we get mad at him. Yeah. And, I mean, during the game, you know, whenever you're down and then turn the ball over or miss two free throws whenever yeah. you're down by one, you know, tensions are high. So, yeah, I'm going to tell him, like, walk in, hit free throws, you know, yeah. make be better decisions. But he does a great job in handling it. He tells me um, whenever I mess up, he holds me accountable. He tells me what to do. It's it's just all about accountability. If you if you're not accountable for anything, you know you're hard to play with. I can't. That's it's, it. it's just not good. It, it, you know, it, looking back, knowing the player you are now, do you think in the past that you was hard to play with? Uh, I was hard. I've been. I've always been hard headed. You know, I don't like being told what to do. Uh -huh. it's like whenever I, I mean, it's going to kind of sound cliche, but I've put countless hours in this gym, and like, I I don't feel like people that you know don't put as much time in as me should be able to you know tell me what to do on the yeah. court and I mean that's just how I feel you know I've been in this gym probably 2,000 hours this, this year yeah. just working on my game so I feel like if you put the work in then I, I respect that like Walker yeah. Grayson Grayson's put the work in this year me and Zane Noah Sam, me Zane and Noah Sam has come in here and play one-on-one -on -one during the summer every day we come in here sometimes two three times a day 
and just play one on one, get each other better. And um, whenever we're on the court, you know, you can see it. We're all close. We all got great chemistry. You never really see us fighting. Always having a good time. Win or lose, we usually have a good time. Coach don't like that, but you know, <laughs> in life, you know, you win some, you lose some. You just got to make sure you win the important ones. Uh, let, let me say something real quick. You're you're not wrong on that either. If you put the work in and you put the time in, and uh, you know, listen, I put thousands, thousand hours of time into this uh, uh, craft of mine. Yeah. Uh, you need to have somebody of equal or at least close to be able to come and question what you do. And, and that's the reason you're the leader you are. It's not being tough. It's not being difficult. It's just being knowing what you want and knowing what to expect. Expectations. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, it's, you know, talking about playing one-on-one, you ever lost a game one-on-one? <laughs> if I lock in, no. But if I'm – usually when I'm in here with Zayna, no, I don't I don't really be. I'll be letting, yeah. I'll be letting them be at their bucket. But, <laughs> but Zayn knows what happens. I, I take – Zane six five. I take him to the post. It's baby food. I'm, I'm <laughs> the uh, I, I like it, Aiden. And you, you know, I've always, you know, since your I guess uh, seventh grade year, you know, as uh, we've kind of been here as long as you, you know, followed you up. You know, uh, always been one of my favorites, just because I always said, you know, uh, on when it comes to football, you was always, you and Isaac Dixon are probably the two best athletes uh, in the d and era, you know what I mean? And uh, what's um, from uh, the Hensley uh, from Pikeville. Um, Jackson. Yeah, Jackson, uh, you know, probably the three best pure athletes that I've seen, you know. But this year, you know, I, I really, you could hear your teammates say it too. I mean, it, you took, and I, I think the maturity in you is what made this team great is, you know, like, now you know just remember jordan had a steve kerr and a john paxson you right. know and uh you know i mean your teammates make them shots ethan Sayers makes them shots because he's getting that pass from you you know and that's what great players do they rise the tide and make everybody around them better and i think that's clearly what you've done here and now you got a team that's ready to go battle and you're going to have a chance to win at rough you know talk about perry central and uh that matchup Mm, they beat us early in the year. I, I'll take the blame for that. I had 24 points in the first half. I only shot two shots in the second half. We lost by like five. I'll take the blame for that one. They started pressing us. We freaked out. We were young. I mean, y'all watched us at the yeah. start of the year. Team started pressing. We Walker would turn the ball over. Yeah. I'd turn the ball over. It wasn't really like – That was the key to y'all. Yeah, it wasn't dribbling. We just like, – we were trying to do too much with the passes. So, basically, we just – We've talked about it at practice. You know, Martin County's going to press. Coach asked what we want to do. I'm like, you know, give me the ball, and I'll put yeah. Eric clear the lane, put Zane in the middle, me and Ethan back here, give us the ball, and I'll, I'll make something happen. I, and I'm ready for it. I, you know, I ain't, I ain't backing down. I, I'm getting to get back. I'm getting to get back. <laughs> well, knowing Rupp Arena, I mean, since you was a kid, you know, knowing you dreamed to step on that floor, you know, and, and knowing that everybody around here, has always said, if you're from McGoffin County, you ain't going to make it there. You ain't going to do that. You know, to, you proved all them naysayers wrong. What's it going to be like to walk out of that tunnel and step on Rep Arena and play in front of thousands of people? It's – I'm kind of torn. Like, it's going to feel great, you know, but, like, I'm there for business. So, whenever I'm playing, like, I ain't going to be thinking about Rep. I'm going to be thinking about winning the game, but – I'm going to tell you, if we win, I'm hitting the doggy. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Yeah. The, I mean, <laughs> that's whenever usually I'll soak it all in is after the game, you know, right. taking pictures with the family, fans, you know. Can you teach yeah. me how to doggy? Yeah. Teach you, buddy. <laughs> there we go. So we may have to do that. Coach Castle has invited us to eat dinner with you all on, uh, at KS Bar after y'all's game. So, uh, you know, uh, hopefully it will be in a victorious mood. And, oh, yeah. uh, we got you. Yeah. The, uh, well, Aiden, uh, you know, I, I will say, man, you, you're one of my favorites uh, ever. And, and it's not, you know, not because of just your talent, but it's that competitive, that, that competitor. You know, I've always respected greatness and coach with greatness. You know, you got Jordan and Kobe. What made them different was their competitive fire. And this young man's got it right here, Coach. You've, you've no doubt about it. And from the get-go, listen, I said player of the year, this guy right here and the type of year that you've had now with the region championship. My last thing to you, uh, what uh, you've had a lot of people probably come up to you and approach you that, hey, this has meant the world, I've waited. But w w 
when did you realize the significance or has that moment happened yet of one individual or certain situation after you've won it that you're like, man, this is meant, this is bigger than just me. This is bigger than just this team. You know, I knew it for a while. Once I heard it was the 100th year of the, of the uh, anniversary of the school, I was like, and I've always had confidence that we can make it to region. And once I, I thought, I, I had thought there would, as a team, um, I didn't know last year was 84 that I think we made it, or 80 or 95 or something like that. I thought we made it in the 2000s sometime, but we didn't. And then, you know, after we won, seeing the crowd, I mean, there was uh, probably a thousand McGoffin County fans there. Just, you know, some people, you know, 70, 80, never yeah. thought they'd see the day. Some people, you know, back in the days of Winter Carpenter, you know. Yeah. And once we got back to the school, we had uh, fans waiting over here for our celebration. And I've talked to many people after that you know, from I was, you know, signing little kids' uh, mm -hmm. yeah. shirts to, you know, Danny Adams. My yeah. dad, he coached Danny my dad's. Adams. Yeah. Um, friends with Danny. And, you know, Danny Adams, you know, shook my hand, told me how, how much it meant to him. And then, um, you know, I walked through the – I go to a restaurant, see somebody, they, they hug me, tell me how proud of me and the team they are, and it just means the world, you know. Being able to give, a, you know, people that have supported McGuffin County basketball something they've dreamed of. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and that's the, the big thing on here, you know, as – you know, somebody brought it to my attention here. You know, y'all was in a playing game, and y'all y'all had to play elimination games. You know, from that point on, and y'all dominate one by ten plus every game. You know, right now y'all's playing as good as you've played all year, right? Oh yeah, I think we, other than the Prestonsburg game, we've won by ten points. We won by ten points exactly every game at region, which is pretty wild. Yeah, and you know, I'm kind of glad. We got to play one last game at home, you know, against yeah. Prestonburg. That felt great, you know, and just being in front, of, in front of the home crowd one time. That's a moment you'll never forget. Uh, being able to play in front of them and then that game, meaning you go into the Appalachian Wireless Arena and then you win there and they're still supporting you, you know. It just means the world. Well, I, I, I just come from the West Virginia State Tournament. There was more people at that region tournament than there was at the West Virginia State Tournament. What an atmosphere that was on championship night. Yeah, I mean, West Virginia basketball, I told Sal. Once I heard – once Sal told me, because me and Sal was pretty close. Yeah. Once Sal told me he was going to Chapmanville, I was like, that's an easy state chip, you know. Yeah. Sal's my dog. <laughs> and he won it in, yep. in very swaggy fashion, I guess. Yes, he did. That's, that's my guy. Yep. I've always, you know, I don't, I'm not a fan of the – the class, yeah. I don't, I don't really think that's right. I, I'm a big fan of the Sweet 16. I think the 16 best teams should play for one title, and because if there was classes in Kentucky, I mean, who knows what would happen? I don't right. think it, it would be near as fun. I like uh, competing against the best. You know, 2,000 people in your score of 100. You seen what happened last year with Lyon County? Coach, he, he's sitting here talking. Uh, we're going to have him on the grind session yeah. sometime. Is what way he's talking? Yeah, he's uh, he knows his stuff. The uh, he, you know Aiden, uh, the, you know Coach Castle. Uh, you know before we bring him on, talk about you know Coach Castle. You know the highs and the lows and what he means to you uh, as a uh, coach and as a mentor. We've been together, you know, every year since he started. He started. I remember. Um, I was in seventh grade, and we had a meeting at the cafeteria, and he handed me a piece of paper, and we had to fill out some stuff, you know. And um, one of the things was, like, your favorite player. My, most, my, my favorite player of all time is Kobe. Always will be, you know, mm -hmm. RIP. And um, ever since then, you know, seventh grade, I didn't get much playing time. You know, we were – I think we started all seniors and had, like, two off the bench or three like we do this year. Yeah. So I was, you know, a little seventh grader. I wasn't getting much playing time, but – I knew the process it was and the process it took because I've been around high school basketball. Yeah. I played JV when I was in fifth grade. So I, I know the process and how everything works. So um, I just stayed patient, came in here every day, played against uh, some of the best players, you know, that I thought I, w I was playing for their yeah. spot. But, you know, just being here with him all seven years. And then every year um, we always – I mean, I go to his house. He cooks for me. He brings me yeah. food. It's It's – a coach, a player, you know, on the court, off the court, it's father, son, you know. Right. He's a father figure. Um, and that's – being able to do this with him, it, mean, it means the world to him, you know. He, he's got a daughter, you know, Jamie. Yeah. I'm sure you all are aware. 
she played at UPAC. You see the pictures out yeah. there. He's won all A state. He's made one region, and he's done it with the girls. He's always wanted to do it with the boys. We've had that conversation many times, and he's, you know, always wanted to do it with me. And the fact that we finally got that accomplished means the world. Well, yeah, Aiden, you'll never have to buy another dinner in Sagersville, and you'll never uh, – you go to Undefeated Cuts, I'd say, uh, I'd say you're going to get your hair cut for free the rest of your life. The uh, You know, but, you know, I mean, this right here, I want to thank you for uh, giving us this moment as people covering sports because this is something – this is one of the best stories that's ever come out of the mountains for you guys, you know, on the 100 years, you know, for you to go on after the tornado and then – you know, you seven years, you know, never uh, played at the Expo. Then you get there, you know, with over 3,000 points, lead your team to victory when, you know, everybody, you know, everybody from the start of the season, you know, is like, yeah, they're one of the top three teams, but they ain't got a chance at region. Well, you proved them wrong. And, uh, you know, I hope you continue proving them wrong. And uh, hopefully at Rupp Arena, you go there and you're the story of the state. I appreciate it. All right. Aiden, uh, best of luck. And uh, can you bring uh, Coach Castle up here for us? Yeah. All right. Guys, we're sitting here at the state tournament tip-off show. The uh, Mr. Aiden Barnett there, Coach Keith. Aiden Barnett. And listen, he understands the magnitude of this moment, right? He absolutely yeah. does. And we got a lot of people tuning in. Uh, we see uh, Scott Whitaker says, awesome. They call uh, Grayson Gray Dog. Uh, yeah. His pops calls him. Uh, said Patty Cheek says Hornets uh, won the last three by 10 plus. Uh, 15th region champs. Let's go. William and Donald Gerald. Margaret Arnett says McGoffin is so proud of this team. Guys, before we bring Coach Castle on, we want to thank Brian Parker at Salyersville Funeral Home, Johnny B's Pizza, and Convenient Drug, as well as Zach Sloan at Sloan Chiropractic. I uh, want to thank Coach Gamble for all he's done this season for the Hornets and Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau. Guys, we're going to bring in Coach Scott Castle here. And, Daryl, can I real quick before you continue, uh, I'm glad that Aiden brought him up. Uh, Coach Danny Adams, uh, and I'll ask Coach Castle about him as well, but I met Coach Adams 1998. I was working Georgetown college camps, transy camps, and he would bring those McGoffin County teams over so I got to know Danny Adams really well I know he had to be really excited for you guys coach to finally see those nets cut down he, he was uh, you know he's he's extremely close to to uh, you know both the boys and girls programs and uh, you know the the kids um, I mean you you know you don't play basketball in McGoffin County unless unless you uh, you know coach Adams and, and know know the love that he has for for the game of basketball and and um, he was just so so excited. Uh, <clears throat> you know, Coach uh, Coach Jerry Patrick, who passed away, uh, was another another huge supporter. Was on the coaching staff yeah. with Coach Adams mm -hmm. at the time. And uh, you know, we know that he was looking down on us that that night uh, there at the regional tournament as well. Yeah. Uh, Green Man's another huge Hornet supporter uh, in the community. We went down to North McGoffin earlier this morning. Um, let let his wife take a, a picture with the team, and uh, a close friend, uh, uh, Russell Howard, principal down at North McGoffin, who passed away. Um, you know, I wish that they could have been around to to witness history. Darrell, it really is bigger than just this team. It's it's a community, a, a lifetime uh, fulfillment. Yeah, and, and you know, just talking, uh, coach. You know, knowing. That what this community's been through is uh, without the, the tornado, the bus crash, you know, everything that has been thrown in this community's way, and for you to be able to give it to them on this hundred years, what does it mean for you as a coach to be able to, you be the one that brought this team to Rep Arena? Well, uh, you know, I, I'm really the, the lucky one. Um, there's been so much heartbreak since, since 1984, uh, so close. Uh, Coach Adams, uh, you know, had, had a chance, the opportunity, opportunity to, to win the region title, and uh, got got beat on a last second buzzer beater there at Virgie, and then '95, of course, got beat, uh, I think, by Johnson Central, and then the '96 Paintsville team won by three points, who went on to win mm -hmm. the state uh, state yeah. uh, uh, title. So, so many people in the community that's uh, had heartbreak, oh, uh, you know, since 1984. Um, you know, you, you sometimes 
uh, have the thought run through your head that hey, we're, we're never going to see a McGoffin County boys team make history and, and mm -hmm. play at Rupp. Um, so what, what I told, uh, told someone was, you know, um, what I witnessed that night, uh, I mean, we're going to hang a banner. Uh, you know, we're going to put a trophy out there. But um, just to see those kids. I know it's tough, Coach, right now. And, you know, uh, you know, Aiden was talking about you kind of a father figure after – uh, you know, off the court to him, you know, uh, seven years, the kid's never been at the expo. For you to be able to enjoy that moment with him, you know, what was that like? Well, it was it was uh, a great feeling. Like I said, um, you know, I, I really thought that we had had a chance last year uh, with the three seniors that we had, Ben Lafferty, yeah. uh, Brennan Henson, and, and Colin uh, Literal. Ben's turning uh, in, by the uh, way. So, uh, you know, I, I thought – we had a really good shot if we could just get into the into the regional tournament last year, um, but you know sometimes things don't work out the way that you have, have planned, um, and we were fortunate enough this year to, um, you know nobody really knew how the super regional was going to work the format, yeah. uh, you know we get over there with the opportunity to 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 win a district title and then you know come so close and. Uh, yet still so far away. Any other year, you would have automatically, automatically been there. You would automatically been there. So then, you know, thoughts are running through your yeah. head. You know, can we do it? Is it meant uh, to be? And I, I remember going in at halftime, uh, the Johnson Central game, uh, dis district tournament this year. Uh, you know, we didn't we didn't have our best first half yeah. uh, game that basketball that we played. Yeah. I mean, we were down nine points at halftime. And, and I turned and looked at one of the coaches, and I said, I, you know, I don't know if this team has what it takes to to, to do this. Uh, you know, we, we've been so close and, and yet so so far away. But, uh, you know, we go in at halftime, and, and we just we just make a decision, hey, we're, we're going we're gonna to do it. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, we come out and control the whole second half. And, uh, you know, like I said, was fortunate to, to – put us in that uh, district championship game and then then you lose that and you're back to square one because now you got to win another game yep so yeah. uh um one impressive fashion too you know the uh, you come out ethan you know had his coming out party with uh seven three pointers mm -hmm. you know uh you know it seems like every game you know like you get to the region you know walker come up big mm -hmm. seemed like uh, noah salmon's come up big in a couple games off the bench you uh, it seems like every kid has uh, zane uh, you know, whether it was blocking shots on the defensive end or, you know, we've seen him a couple games here, you know, where he come out offensively just absolutely led you. And then you've seen Grayson hit big shots. Every kid, although Aiden's the star, every kid has had their moment. Well, they have. And, and uh, you know, once you get uh, once you get on that stage, uh, like I said, uh, one player is not going to not gonna win, uh, get you to, to the big dance. Yep. Uh, it takes a total team effort on both ends of the floor. Um, we wasn't that team early in the season. We started developing in it as the season, you know, went along, and, and we kept getting better and better. And, and we just make it, made it a, fo a focal point to, to talk about it all the time. That we've got to get better defensively. We got to we got to trust each other, um, and, and put put people put your teammates in a position that you can take some of the load off of yourself. Yeah. And I think that's what we did in the regional tournament. Well, that and that's what I was going to ask you, Coach. <coughs> Excuse me. Is from the zip zone until now, and, and sometimes it can be on the court or off the court as a coach. Sometimes off the court, managing, uh, refining roles, defining roles. Sometimes that can be the mastery of the job. Uh, but what was the single most important part? The tw <laughs> the tweak, or what, what, or multiple tweaks that got you guys from the zip zone until now. Uh, was it was it the defensive end? Was it helping on dribble drives, or was it everybody understanding their role and embracing it? Well, I think uh, everybody, uh, you know, began understanding what their role role was. But at the same time, you know, we knew, like I said, we we knew we had to get better defensively. Um, 
number one, you don't help out of the corners whenever people are driving because other teams have got great shooters and, and great shooters usually go to the corner to shoot the ball. We know that because we've got one in Grayson Whitaker and mm -hmm. Noah Samuels. Yeah. So number one, you don't help out of the corners. Your, your head up out on the floor because if you've got Zane as a racer there standing at the mm -hmm. rim, you can afford to gamble. Right. Make your guy make tough twos. And if he makes a tough two, it's usually going to be over Zane Whitaker. Right. And, you know, how much credit does, does Zane get? N not nearly enough yeah. because he changes. Every shot that comes in that paint, he, he's typically making them change their shots. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, you know, Walker Russell understood, hey, since Zane's probably changing shots, maybe I could go get a rebound. Yeah. He, right. had, eight, he had 18 rebounds. Uh, Against uh, Pikeville. Oh now, wow! How many, wow. how many times? Wow. How many times you get 18 rebounds versus Pikeville at Pikeville? <laughs> never, <laughs> never. So, and then we talked individually to players. Grayson Whitaker. Grayson is yeah. is a really good three point shooter. Early in the season, Grayson, you're taking shots. You you've got a 10 percent chance of your shot going in because of your shot selection. Yeah. You're fading away. You're waiting until the defense closes out. You're taking shots in. Why? Why? Those are not good shots. Once he started understanding this and realizing that, hey, maybe my, I can shoot a higher percentage. Mm -hmm. Whenever, especially when Aiden drives to the basket, defense is going to collapse. Wow. Once he started doing that, you can see that his numbers kept climbing and climbing and climbing. And how many times in the regional tournament did a team go down, hit a three, we come push the ball right back? He knocks down a three because he's open. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the little things. Uh, like you said, Ethan Sire comes in, um, shoots the ball really well against Prestonsburg. Hadn't really been concerned with his offensive output during the season. Yeah. Even though that hey, we didn't we didn't say not you know don't shoot yeah. the ball, but he just if you're open, yeah. you got you got to let the defense know that hey, I want to They got to respect. Yeah, it. you got to mm -hmm. respect respect me. So you could just see his confidence from from the presence of our game. Yeah, he was just, just yeah. and, and by the end of the tournament, he was on top of the mountain. Oh yeah, yeah. He, I uh, mean, he he knew it uh, at the top. He knew, you know, and I think everybody's respect grew uh, for him too over that time span. And everybody was treating him as one of the top guards in the region by the time region championship came around. Exactly. And then uh, you know you got Noah Sammons and, and Reed Meadows that came, uh, that come off of the yeah. bench there. Uh, you know. Um, Noah goes five straight points against Johnson Central that third quarter. We come out flat. We're letting them drive downhill. Uh, we're not we're not hedging the ball screen like we did the first half. Uh, just letting Sloan get downhill on us, and and you know kept dwind that lead just kept dwindling them down. And uh, you know Noah came in, had a huge rebound put back, mm -hmm. come down next possession, hits that three from the corner, yeah. and then we're able to push that lead back out. Um, Martin County game throughout the season. Uh, Reed would come off the bench. Typically, we go 12, which is our press. Mm -hmm. Put him on the ball. He kind of gets gets us going, uh, effort-wise. Uh, makes everybody have to play hard. Uh, put him in the Martin County game when Zane picks up his third and fourth back-to-back -back yeah. plays. And I think Aiden takes a shot, and misses it. Reed gets the the offensive rebound and put back. Uh, yeah. and then we sep we create separation mm -hmm. again. So, uh -huh. uh, you know, it's it's totally a, a team effort. Um, of course, uh, you know, um, Aiden's, uh, Aiden's a man whenever, whenever the game's tight. And I think everybody, uh, yeah, they, everybody, they the know gym, who's getting the ball. everybody in the gym understands that, but yeah. you know, Aiden's ability and his trust in his teammates down, down the stretch. I remember one, one crucial play against Martin County there. Aiden goes up to shoot a 15 foot jump shot at the elbow. He catches Walker in the left-hand corner going back door. Hits him with the hits him with the yeah. pass and we score it on the block to to you know push that lead on out. Yeah. Um, so um, that's what's made him uh, take him from a good to a great player. And you know we see a ton of people tuning in. We uh, see the broadcast of legend Teddy Painter uh, tuning in. Prayers going out to you, Teddy. Jason Kilgore says, "Is Coach Castle the only coach in Kentucky history to win uh, a region title or take a boys and girls team both the state?" Well, I don't know how many's done it, very few, but I do know Rodney Rowe 
done I think at Shelby Valley, right, and uh, with the boys and girls. And uh, uh, I, we'll try to get a list together and see how many people's done it. You know, that's a rare feat. You know, when we was talking to Aiden. He said, you know, he knew with Jamie, your daughter, mm -hmm. and you know, you done special uh, things with the girls' side and uh, all that you accomplished there. But you know, he said that you always wanted to take the boys' team. You know, talk about, you know, how special that is, you know, knowing that you took the girls and now you got the boys there. Well, you know, I got to ex experience uh, uh, two, two um, state tournament appearances with, uh, with Coach Miller. Coach Miller was the head coach at the time, Steve Miller. Uh, most people know him by Pup, a uh, great friend. Uh, I was assistant at that time. Uh, <clears throat> 2006 girls uh, team as well as the 2012 did make an appearance in the state tournament 2012 team actually uh, was able to advance past the first round when we beat Ashland and uh, you know those those are lifetime memories uh, especially when you know when you have have your daughter um, on the floor playing at that time uh, it was just just something really really special um, I mean as far as as far as the boys um, you know I, I watched this bunch play in the middle school years and years ago before I even um, you know, I, I had whenever I resigned as as a girls coach after losing losing uh, in the finals of the regional tournament to to uh, Rodney Rowe at the time, yeah. uh, 23-22. You know, I, um, I I really thought my coaching career was over. Had no intentions of of coming back uh, just because you know um, my daughter had graduated and and you know work life and 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 things just. Uh, and you know the position came open, and pe I guess people talked me into to getting back into it. And you know, so thankful. Um, you know, I uh, I love being around the kids, and and uh, you know they're 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 really special to me, and especially especially uh, you know this team and and how they've improved. And um, you know, when you get see the daily improvement and, and the hard work pay off, and Finally, getting in a in a position to to make history and actually doing it is is just un unbelievable. Coach, them ping pong balls thrown in a hat, they was juggling. You know, just so happened y'all drew Perry Central, 14th <laughs> region. Yeah. You know, two mountain teams going at it down there. Uh, you know, one of our mountain teams are going to make it to the weekend for you know don't happen a lot, uh, but. You know, uh, yeah, what's the – knowing you got a uh, nephew on that team, what's the fi family dynamic right now in the family? The uh, uh, Any smack talk going on? Well, we're actually not talking to each other right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, I, I played. I, I talk to my brother uh, uh, daily. You know, we talk two or three times a day. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, uh, we don't really talk a lot about, uh, uh, you know, what's going to happen Wednesday. But, uh, you know um, – Carter, Carter's a great player. Uh, he really hurt us up uh, when we played Perry Central earlier. But, um, you know, he, he's a castle. Uh, he's a castle, and, and it, it, you're not a castle unless you are going to compete at a very high level and you're competing, um, you know, to, to win. So uh, um, we'll, we'll be able to talk about it, uh, you know, for years after. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to try it. My voice keeps going out. But, <laughs> Coach, uh, uh, we mentioned throughout this show um, uh, with the players and yourself, this is bigger than Aiden. This is bigger than the Whitakers. It's bigger than yourself. This town uh, it, it really embraced this journey. But for you as a coach, uh, Coach, uh, who, do, who do you reflect on the people in your life that helped you get to this point you cut the nets down and knew you did something really special for McGoffin County and Sayersville. Who, who personally in your life uh, did you look back and be like, man, uh, that, well, that, they were a big part of this? Yeah, I think that uh, any any player that's ever played for for Danny Adams, um, you know the the amount of work that you had to put into it. Um, I mean, just what he required of you as a player, uh, not only improve you as a player but a, as a person. Um, and, you know, I, I try to instill that same philosophy uh, in, in my coaching style. You know, we come in, we work hard every day. Um, 
just because you work hard doesn't mean that you're going to win. Right. Uh, you got to have dedication and and uh, you got to have the attitude that you know I'm going to come in and I'm going to work. I'm going to be the best version of myself that I can be. And uh, hopefully, you know, throughout the course of, of my basketball career, I may have the opportunity to make history. Right. And uh, you know, here we are talking about it a um, hundred years. Yep. Uh, to, to make history, it's just uh, it's unremarkable. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this community, uh, I mean, we see Ruth Shepard here says uh, thanks D&D for uh, streaming the games and bringing the uh, Odor Hornet fans uh, to the game. Uh, you know, I mean, when we go around this community and we just see the support that everybody in the community has uh, gave you guys, you know, whether it was Brian Parker at Salisville Funeral Home, uh, Johnny B's Pizza, Corey Conley, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Coach Gamble, uh, everybody, like I, I never realized how much support that this school had until this year. And it really started in football season and it's carried on. You know, it seems like things are a little bit different and the community is believing now. You know, uh, what's different in this community than it was, you know, a year or two ago because something feels different. Well, you know, I, I just think that, uh, you know, we and we talked about this at <coughs> Excuse me. We talked about this as a team. You know, uh, what Kentucky basketball kid that does not dream about going and playing at Rupp Arena? No. I mean, every kid in Kentucky no. wants to go play at Rupp Arena. No. So you can you can dream, you can dream, and you you can achieve those dreams, but you're not going to achieve those dreams if you don't believe. You have to believe in, in putting the hard work in. You got to trust your teammates. You you got to. How many times have these kids been in this gym, and their buddies at the swimming pool swimming? Yeah. Or how yeah. many times have they been gone to the movies and, and these kids here here in in the in the gym working? Um, and and uh, you know it, it's it, you just got to believe in yourself. You got to believe with the people that you're around, and. Um, you know, I, I'm so fortunate. Like I told someone, um, you know, we're going to hang a banner up here. We're going, we're going to put a trophy out there. But just to see, see their faces and, and uh, them crying and, and smiling and jumping up and down and seeing the old generation up in the crowd, uh, just a unbelievable feeling that I'll, I'll never forget in my life. Like you said, you started your career with 11 seniors. You know, <laughs> yeah. you, you got nine seniors now you know uh you've took and rebuilt this program from the ground up uh you know it makes it a lot easier when you got aiden barnett to build the cornerstone around but <laughs> well it, it, it is you know and, and aiden uh you know averaging 29.4 points per game number six in the state uh leading score um 942 points on the season 3589 career total points all-time scoring to date, to date. Um, but you know we also have uh, we also have Zane Whitaker and we have uh, Grayson Whitaker who I think somebody referred to him as a gray dog earlier. Yeah. You know they, they reached a milestone uh, scoring a, a thousand points. Oh. So how many times uh, right. uh, how many teams do you see that ha actually has three players over over a thousand points? Um, so uh, you know it's. Uh, it's it's all about just coming in the gym and, and putting your time in and, and going through the process and and uh, getting better each and every day and and you know hopefully we've got some some kids coming back uh, from this year's squad that uh, will put time in over the summer you know uh, we hope that they get to some trainers I know that uh, Aiden mentioned his trainer Corey Hayes yeah. uh, remarkable guy that, uh, you know his his people always you see results when they go to always. Corey. Yeah. Got a uh, Ethan Sire, Zane Zane Whitaker went to Pitt Conley. Um, yeah. You know, um, you, you see results re see results yeah. from those two as well. Um, so you know, we we're going to encourage our kids to get out and get with someone that that uh, that you know can train them and get them quicker and get them uh, their lateral quickness uh, and uh, just you know come in and start over uh, start uh, from scratch and and. Well. Uh, you know, hopefully we can we can build a competitive squad next year. Coach Aiden Barn uh, Barnett, you know, I tell Coach all the time, I don't know there's a kid that faces as much hate, 
you know, uh, week in, week out is that kid, man. He And he finds a way to put it and use it as a chip to motivate him. You know, coaching that kid, 15th region player of the year, just went and uh, to the Mr. Basketball Ceremony. Uh, you know, you said before the season you knew he was going to be 15th region player of the year. What, what makes that kid, uh, uh, you know, why is his clock – uh, click a little different. Well, his mentality and his heart. Uh, I mean, you know, he's a, he's a true competitor. Uh, you know, um, I remember whenever whenever I first took took over the coaching, and you know, we made them fill out a form. You know, what their interest was, and his favorite player was Kobe Bryant. Um, Naming a better competitor yeah. than than Kobe yeah. Bryant. Um, so, uh, just uh, you know, some people are, are built different. Um, and he's one of those kids. Some some kids want to just be a part of something, and and uh, you know that that's satisfying to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, you know, Aiden's Aiden's um, he's a little bit different, uh, and and we've got other people on the team that's that's uh, that's like him in that way too. Um, you know, I, I remember uh, calling the time out there, and and I could see it in the in the our kids' faces whenever we was up there in the championship game, and. Uh, kids took the floor and I turned around and looked at my assistant coach and I said we're not getting beat this game yeah. I, I could just see it in their eyes mm-hmm. so uh, you know we it's 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 nice to have not only an Aiden Barnett on your team but four people that that trust and and believe in the process and and have just as big as a big a heart yeah Walker Russell does that uh, uh, does it does that kid have what it takes to be the next Aiden Barnett yeah, I've already told him I've already told him. I said uh, we had this conversation probably about uh, uh, probably about a month ago. Um, I told him. I said uh, you know the way things are looking as the season progressed and and Aiden was playing as well as what he was that uh, you know I suspected that Aiden should uh, win Player of the Year and and I told him. I said you know uh, in in school history I think Aiden is maybe number five Player of the Year uh, and I told Walker. I said. I expect you to be in this position two years from now as number six. So, and, and he's he's got the ability. I mean, you know, we call him the super sophomore. Um, offensively talented, defensively talented, uh, rebounding machine. Yep. Um, I mean, he's got all the all the skills, and and more importantly, he's got uh, he's got the heart and the dedication that it takes to to become uh, you know that next region player of the year. Seems like he's got a high basketball IQ, too. You know, we was talking to him, and he said, you know, he just felt on them offensive rebounds. He said he noticed that, you know, guys wasn't putting hands or a butt on him, he said, and yeah, he knew that's where he could impact the game on yeah. the offensive rebounds. Well, you have to you have to find what you can you can do and, be yep. you know, be great at it. And, and uh, you know, he's got, he's got, like you said, he's got a sharp uh, sharp head on him, and, and uh, you know, he's he's got the ability and the, and the want to. So, um you know, if you find kids like that, regardless of their ability, you want to you want to see good things happen. Well, coach, uh, you know, I, I know you got uh, you probably got practice and stuff lined up, and you got other uh, obligations. But you know, uh, we do want to thank you for allowing us to be a small part of uh, this special journey because uh, you know this year, you know, I mean, you, you guys, we've really gravitated, and you know, a lot of these boys become like family. We've been here, you know, night in, night out with y'all, and. You know, it, it would uh, mean the world to see you guys be able to finish this off and, you know, at least get a couple wins down at Rupp and hopefully bring a state title back. Well, like I said, we, uh, you know, I told the kids we're not going down there just to play. We're going down there to win. So, uh, you know, we uh, we feel feel good about, uh, you know, that first game. We feel that if we play like we're able to play and and uh, especially on the defensive end that, uh, you know, we'll have a chance to maybe advance to that, that second game on Friday. So, uh you know, we, we anticipate a huge McGoffin County crowd, just like a regional championship game. Uh, I mean, who travels better than McGoffin County fans? Uh, you know, as of uh, yesterday, we were taking seven pep buses maybe. Uh, we've ordered 2,200 shirts, and they have already sold out. Wow. Uh, so, uh, you know, we anticipate a huge, huge crowd. Uh, the, uh, you got any of them in 5X? <laughs> uh, I will check and try to get you guys one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Kenneth Copley says, 
Uh, he said, this, what you've done this year has shown younger kids that it is possible to win big games at McGoffin County. said, he don't think it will take another 100 years to do it again. There will be more kids coming out because now they know it's possible to do it as a Hornet. Well, you know, he's exactly right. And, and uh, you know, I can make this, uh, this statement with 100% certainty is that uh, if it does take another 100 years, Old Coach Castle probably won't be around. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, well, you ne you never know. The uh, uh, it, coach, the uh, I, I think just like uh, Grayson, you know, a lot of people's calling uh, us gray dogs now. So <laughs> the uh, but you know this uh, uh, do coach that this team that you got right now is a uh, is a very special group, and you know, and like I told Coach Keithley on the way up here, this is best story in since I've been covering sports uh, by far what y'all have done with this community everything that y'all faced you know so you know to, to see y'all go down there I, I think a lot of people across the state whether they're no matter who they're there for they're going to be cheering for McGoffin County because y'all are the true underdogs well I, I think that's the case and you know I, I think that uh you know, Rupp is used to seeing a lot of blue and white, but, uh, you know, I, I think that they're really going to see a lot of maroon and white uh, come Wednesday morning about 11 o'clock. So, uh, and, you know, our, our fans are, are pretty, uh, you know, they love basketball. So uh, uh, we're looking for an exciting, uh, exciting time. Last question, Perry Central, uh, you know, is on tap. Um, you know, me and Coach got to leave here. We got to head straight to Perry Central, do the same thing up there. Uh, you know, when you got uh, – Perry Central, y'all lost to them earlier in the year. You know, uh, do, do you think that y'all uh, – is this a completely different team than what Perry's seen the first time around? Well, it is. If I'm not mistaken, uh, um, that game is – is Aiden had a hamstring er, injury early, and we kind of held him out a couple of those first, first uh, scrimmage games. Um, and, uh, you know, he wasn't really 100% healthy at that time. Um, you know, a lot of people don't understand that for, for the past two or three years, Aiden has not been healthy. Uh, played one season with a torn labrum. Um, the next season he had the Achilles injury. Um, so really this is the first season that, uh, he, you know, he came into the season a, a little bit unhealthy, but compared to previous yeah. seasons he had. He, so, um, of course, you know, they, the Beverly kid is, is no yeah. longer with Perry, so that yeah. changes the dynamics of them. Um, so he was there when y'all played him first? He was there right. when we played him first. But like I said, uh, you know, we we stretched the game out. We had a eight, eight nine-point lead with three and a half minutes to go, and and uh, we just we fell apart. Um, they started pressing. and. Um, you know, plays that we make now, uh, we didn't make then. Um, the panic, you could see the panic on the kids' yeah. faces at that time. And, uh, you know, we've we've grown so much from that point, uh, got so much better um, taking care of the basketball and, and really understanding that, hey, we have to value the basketball. Uh, and once you, once you do that, as many offensive weapons that we have, it yeah. really puts a, puts a stress on the other team. Uh, the, yeah, the game plan at the beginning of the year, Coach, was uh, pressing because you guys would fall apart whenever you guys would get pressed. And now I think y'all got some of the most heady veterans yeah. uh, they are. So from yeah. where this team started to where they are now, night and day. And, uh, you know, uh, credit to you as a coach for getting these kids to that point because, you know, I know it's took a lot of hours logged in this gym to get them there. Right, Coach? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, coach, final message to the uh, McGoffin County faithful as you guys prepare to head to Rupp Arena. Well, we just want to say that, uh, you know, we appreciate and, and love all McGoffin County and all the support. Uh, you know, and, and we want you to show up and show out and, and be loud and, and, and proud just like you always are. And, and uh, like I said, we're looking for an exciting contest and, and hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we get to go back Friday and see another huge McGoffin County crowd in the stands and all that maroon and white. Yep. The uh, guys want to thank Brian Parker at Salyersville Funeral Home, Johnny B's Pizza, Corey Connolly at Convenient Drug. I uh, want to thank Coach Gamble at Undefeated Cuts. 
And as always, want to thank our good friends at uh, Double Quick. Coach Castle, uh, you know, I, I, I got a million. I could sit here and talk to you all day, but, I, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll catch up more in Lexington, and uh, you guys have safe travels down there. But once you get there, make us proud and uh, bring that hardware back to the 15th region. We're going to do our very best. All right, guys. Guys, we're going to jump away. 7 o'clock, we'll be live from Perry County Central for their tip-off show. Come right back and join us here on the D&D &D Sports Network.